Welcome back. We know we love our baseball and hockey as well as any city in America. We're about to show the country how soccer passion is done. And then next Saturday at Worldwide Technology Raceway, we have the Bomberito 500. Those Indy cars were in the east today. Let's go to Pocono. Now keep in mind, this is lap one of a 500 mile race and it doesn't go well. Five cards were wiped out. Takemo Sato caused it all. Then the bad weather came, lightning all over the track in Long Pond, Pennsylvania. The race was stopped and Will Power was declared the winner after 129 laps. All those drivers will be here next week and that's the subject of our next interview. And joining us now is the owner of Worldwide Technology Raceway, Curtis Francois. So you are playing the hits this Saturday. The Blues are the story of the year and you're making sure they're gonna be involved in this event. You know, as a, a uh, lifelong St. Louis and a huge Blues fan. For the first time in their history, the St. Louis Blues are the Stanley Cup champions. How could we not? I mean, it's the story of the year. And as we continue to grow with, with Gateway, you know, what a great group to partner with. And just to, once again, honor an unbelievable performance uh, with the St. Louis Blues. Pareko has time, shoots, he scores! Colton Pareko is going to be a major player on Saturday night. Yes, well, he's going to get in the fastest seat in racing, which is going to be part of the two-seater ride. He'll be going around the IndyCar track at speed, close to 200 miles an hour. So we'll talk to him afterwards and see how, uh, how that uh, worked for him. But it's going to be great. Charles Glenn a part of the night? Uh, Charles was with us the first year, uh, back again now this year. Again, what a great, uh, great opportunity to, to honor Charles, uh, but also just for the, to, to the delight the fans to see and, and hear Charles Glenn. Do you know of a sporting event out there where every competitor before the event is available for pictures and autographs? You know, years ago, and I'm going to say three or four years ago, Racing realized that they had a great opportunity. In the motorsports world, they could make the superstars accessible. And by doing that, they've ingratiated themselves to the families, to the fans, and there's such great interaction now. And people are coming out specifically to see their favorite driver, knowing they're going to probably get an opportunity to get an autograph and shake his hand. How about the amount of hours? that there will be racing on the track Saturday. This is not just the Bomberito 500. No, um, you know, we've kind of outdone ourselves. This, uh, this Bomberito 500 is four races in one day. There'll be something going on on the racetrack all day long, uh, multiple different series racing. We actually have the NASCAR Can-In series. So if you like stock car racing, you're gonna get to see some of that. We've got the vintage Indy cars coming, the largest group outside of the Indianapolis 500 coming with vintage Indy cars. What if people wanna do a little people watching? Who could they possibly see in this rather uh, varied crowd? Well, you just never do know, but I can tell you that David Letterman showed up I uh, got an opportunity to talk to him. He was just walking through the pits. Uh, you know, you're going to see some of the other reality stars that could be there. Uh, you just never do know, but this is glamorous. This is international appeal. This is racing that appeals across the world, uh, and it's going to be right here in St. Louis. So you're a former driver yourself. Give us a little insight. How fast, how expensive is the car, and how scary is the trip around the track? Well, you know, they'll be doing about 200 miles an hour before they hit the brakes a little bit and turn into turn one. That's a scary corner. You're going 200 miles an hour and then you have more or less a button hook 180 degree corner you have to go wow. around. And it, so it, it's exciting for those guys. You know, it, it really is, um, it's a challenging racetrack. And we like that. The drivers like it. It gives us lots of opportunities uh, to pass. On Saturday night, when you put your head on the pillow, you'll know it's a successful night if you You know, it's a successful night if I see people leaving happy, smiles on their face, and you could just read it that they've had a great time. That is success for me. The rest of it kind of takes care of itself, but it's about building grassroots support for this facility grassroots support for uh, motorsports in, in, our, in our area, and knowing that people are leaving, making a memory with their family. That is how I measure success. Curtis, appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thanks, Frank. That's Curtis Francois, and that will do it in sports. Let's send it back to the desk.